We have a two-year fellowship program, three fellows in each year, so we have a total of six fellows. They work in four different hospitals, I would say, the University of Missouri Healthcare, the Ellis Fisher Cancer Center, Women's Hospital, and the VA Hospital. We have a dedicated education time on Friday afternoons. I think that is a very special thing. And in addition to uh, training our fellows for endocrinology board exam, we also train our fellows for like three other specialty exa exams, like hypertension specialist exam. Then we also train them so that they can do the clinical board dentometry exam and the obesity boards. So that is the added qualifications they can get by the time they finish the fellowship. They are not forced to do it, but if they are interested, they can do one, two or three of those things. One of our probably primary aims with the fellowship is that we want our fellows to learn, we want them to go, be able to go out and become exceptional uh, clinicians. We're very clinically focused. I think that people learn best in environments where they are comfortable, where they feel respected, and where their voices are heard. So one of the things that is maybe a little bit different about our fellowship is we're very focused on providing to the needs of the fellows as they tell us the needs are, not just the curriculum that's required. The program provides a lot of different electives, uh, different row, uh, depending on what your interest in and um, our program director do meet with us uh, regularly to kind of check on us to see whether we're on track and then really doing what we're interested in. We do see a wide variety of endocrinology condition you know besides all those bread and butter you know diabetes, osteoporosis, thyroid thing. We do see tons of transgender patients here um, at the MU Care Health System and then not really a lot of different other endocrinology program can provide that. Because we have a very strong focus on education, uh, we have continued to maintain a half day carved out purely for education of the uh, of anyone who needs, you know, faculty, fellows, residents, but it's really geared toward the fellows. And that continues to be a large part of our educational focus is to keep that time carved out, to have that time to interact with the fellows, to have that time to bring new information to the fellows and then have the fellows, most importantly, bring new information to us. So definitely there is you know, a good work balance here at the fellowship program and also having six fellows you know, it, in total actually helps to spread the work around so um, I never feel that, that I'm overworked. The faculty are very, very friendly, they're very approachable, they're kind, they're experts in their field, they provide outstanding clinical care. So they're really uh, great role models to look up to and they guide you in whatever path you choose after you graduate, uh, be it to be in academic medicine or to go to private practice or even if you want to do research, we have uh, some faculty who can mentor you along that path. So overall, a really great experience. Uh, the fellows are very friendly with each other. Uh, we meet uh, very frequently outside of the work setting. And so it's basically like family. We support each other. We're really good friends with each other. And we hope to continue to be friends after we're done with the fellowship.